How's it going, everybody? This is Anthony Miranda, your third favorite attorney with Farms Policy Coalition. Today, I want to bring to your attention New York Assembly Bill 00352, which is authored by State Assemblyman Jonathan Jacobson. His bill seeks to make the purchase and possession of body vests illegal in the state of New York. Assembly Bill 352 would add a new section to the penal code, which reads in part, a person is guilty of the unlawful purchase or possession of a body vest when he or she knowingly and unlawfully purchase or purchases or possesses a body vest. Don't worry, we'll cover what a body vest is in just a second. The bill continues, this section shall not apply to active law enforcement officers or those whose occupations require the use of body vests as determined by the Department of State. Penalties for the unlawful purchase or possession of a body vest will be a class A misdemeanor for a first offense and a class E felony for any subsequent offense. The bill further provides that any person currently in possession of a body vest shall have 15 days from the effective date of the act to dispose of it at a local uh, or state law enforcement agency. 352 closes by indicating that the act shall take effect on the 60th day after it shall become law. So what does New York define as a body vest, which would be subject to this confiscation and ban? Well, the penal code defines a body vest to mean a bullet resistant soft body armor providing as a minimum standard, the level protection known as threat level one, which shall mean at least seven layers of bullet resistant material, providing protection from three shots of 158 grain lead ammunition fired from a 38 caliber handgun at a velocity of 850 feet per second. Put simply, this bill would ban the possession and purchase of any soft body armor vest rated for level one strength or up. So what does this all mean? Well, if passed, this law would go into effect 60 days later, and then anyone currently in possession of a body vest would need to turn it in to police within the following 15 days. After that 15 day grace period ends, anyone still in possession of a body vest or anyone who attempts to purchase a body vest would then be subject to a class A misdemeanor for a first offense, punishable by up to one year imprisonment, and for any subsequent offense, a class E felony, punishable by up to four years imprisonment. As we commonly see, the law expressly exempts law enforcement officers as well. This bill seeks to deprive New Yorkers of their right to passive defense by instituting a confiscation and ban on body vests. So if you disagree with this bill and you live in New York, head over to bodyarmorban.com and let your elected officials know you oppose this bill. While you're at it, swing by our FBC hotline, 2ahotline.com, and tell us how you'd be affected if this bill were to pass. We're always looking for individuals who may be future plaintiffs in our lawsuits. Once again, this is Anthony Miranda, your third favorite attorney here at FPC. I'll see you guys next time.